and where she stops nobody knows hey what's happening guys today we're going to take a look at this simple circuit board here which is an rc integrator differentiator demonstration board for the stem program at the school okay so here's a quick drawing we have an oscillator section here made up of a 555 timer with its own rc components here to control the timing and to control the mark space. The signal, of course, comes out on pin three from the 555 timer right here. And it's gonna to go to this switch where you can select the left position, which will take you to the integrator section and the right position, which will take you to the differentiator section with the appropriate probes attached so that the students can attach an oscilloscope and look at how the combination of the resistor capacitor or capacitor resistor helps them understand what that does to the waveform basically so here's the board as it's drawn up this is the top layer you can see the 555 timer our power in here is our switch to select these are our resistors and our capacitors and then we have our integrator also ground you can see the ground connects both ways and our differentiator and that just takes us to the 3d view which you saw at the opening there this of course will be a switch this will be a male connector to go to our power supply doohickey and uh yeah it'll look pretty much like that So I'm going to order up these boards from PCB Way, as I always do. Not only are they a major sponsor of this channel, but they are an excellent PCB, a board house with eight years of experience, and they are fast. So you know they can make you PCB prototypes, right? Five dollars for ten pieces. You know they do assembly. You know they have different types of PCBs. But did you know they do CNC machining? And 3D printing, you can get a 3D print for as low as $5 and a CNC machine part for as low as $25. That is just unbelievable. And if you want to design your board, have them make it and populate it, look here. PCB assembly service, only $30 total. Through hole, surface mount, they got you. PCB way. All right, the boards are back. And of course, they're very nice looking boards. All right. Let's get started putting this guy together. I have some of the parts uh, nulled out already. Let's start with the resistors. We'll do the two... Uh, 10k resistors first so you guys saw the video taking the, the boy to college the other day thanks for all your kind comments I appreciate it and to the two pit students who found Blake in the towers and said they were a fan of my channel to you i say what's up <laughs> that was neat okay let's uh start soldering in these resistors There we go, that's better. Wasn't taking the solder right away. I don't think I was pressing hard enough. I hadn't soldered anything in about a week, so my touch is off. I may have been just, you know, like favoring it a little bit. Like any physical skill, you know, soldering will 
atrophy if you don't use it. Okay, then we got the two 470R resistors. And, you know, this morning I went to open the drawer with my 470 ohm resistors, and it was empty. I had to break out the backup resistors. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You have backup resistors, right? Oh, my. Tell you what, it has been raining and storming here for the last couple of days. Not a great ending to a actually pretty nice summer. But hey, whatever. Seasons change, times change. Nothing stays the same. All right, we get all our resistors in. Be good to go there. Probably what we can do is uh, put our, we'll put the five 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 in in the capacitors next, and uh, make sure the old five 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 timer is working. And then we'll go on and put in those last sections there. My resistors are not quite lined up. I'm sure I will catch heck for that. And what do we got next? Here's a switch. You solder that guy in, no problem. Of course, we want it vertical or perpendicular to the board, however you want to look at it <clears throat> or like ox tool says square to the world I like that I'm gonna leave those on there for right now a oh. little crook in there as is the story of my life Power connector. Using the proper Pittsburgh pronunciation of the word power. Power. <laughs> this one is being recalcitrant. I think, oh. I just blew that. I did. I should be able to get it. Come on. Nope. Nope. I blew that one. That's all right. We can fix it. One moment. There we go. Now we get it soldered in properly. All right, we need a five, 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 don't we? All right, guys, I got almost everything soldered in here sorry you didn't get to see it um blake called me and i ended up talking to him while i was soldering uh the dorms at pitt are now opened up for all students to move in so uh <laughs> they did and he said it was an interesting night in the dorms last night. How am I going to do this? I'm soldering in these little connection pins here. I guess, you know what? I was going to try and do them all at once and be slick, but you know, probably better to just knock them off here one at a time.
There we go. <laughs> Just trying to get these in here. Because, you know, they're, they're meant to be used together. So when you break them out and use them one at a time, they... They, they uh, oh, they tend to protest a little, but that's okay. We can work with it. And yes, I will straighten these up once I get all three in. Beautiful, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll fix it. Oh, too far. Too far. I think we should be good. Let's uh, police the area and give her a try. Power is hooked up. I'm giving it a. Let's get you over there to see the power supply. Six volts. Pulling under 10 milliamps. Let's get the. Uh, Get the old oscilloscope hooked up here. And there's our ground. What I want to do first is just connect on to the center pin of the switch, which is our signal out of the 555, and make sure that we're getting oscillations, which we are. Hang on here. So there you can see we are oscillating our frequency is 1.036 hertz. Get you in there, get you a good view. That's a horrible view, isn't it? All right, let's try this. Let me adjust here. One second. Oh, it's got the. Uh, hang on. There we go. Now you can see it better. Okay, so that is the straight signal. Now let's put it on the uh, integrator. Yeah, we got nothing. Differentiator. Try this again. What is going on here? Oh, am I shorting something out? There's our signal. All right, there's our differentiation. That's working. There it is. I'm flicking the switch off, on. Now I'll go up to our integrator here. I am confused as to why I'm not getting what I'm looking for here. That is just really weird. Oh, Alright, we got something there. Really? There we go. So now she's working. It's just the switch.
I'm gonna have to correct that a little bit there. Uh, first of all, disconnect the power. I think my connector there was shortened out. All righty. Let's hook up here again. With our ground integrator. And so you can see, switch it over from the integrator differentiator flip the switch there we go so i guess the moral of this story is you always need to be careful of your solder bridges check your soldering over and make sure it's looking good otherwise what you expect to happen in your circuit just may not happen and your circuit may be functioning just fine but a bad solder joint could be a preventing things from happening the way you want. So, now Jason can use that in his STEM curriculum this year, and school started last week, so um, he'll be glad to get these boards. I'm gonna be taking them up there pretty soon, and we're gonna shoot a video with uh, giving them all to him and the STEM kids and all that stuff as well. So I wanna thank you guys for watching, and I especially wanna thank PCB Way. If you design PCs or you would like to try to design PCBs and you need somebody to handle the back end for you, I can't recommend anybody more than PCB Way. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.